The senior officials' meeting of Mekong Countries and Development Partners Cooperation took place in Vientian on Saturday, the 23rd of July, in Vientian capital, to review the progress made in the implementation of projects and programs under each cooperation framework over the previous year. Senior officials and delegates from the Mekong countries of Laos, Cambodia, Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam and development partners comprising Japan, Republic of Korea, India and the United States of America attended the meeting. The objective was to evaluate the implementation of the action plans and co-chair statements and joint statement of the ministers meeting that were adopted in 2015. Another purpose of the meeting was to give senior officials the opportunity to discuss their cooperation in preparing for the 7th Mekong Ganga Cooperation Ministerial Meeting and the 6th Mekong Republic of Korea Ministers Meeting. Other issues concerning the 9th Mekong Japan Foreign Ministers Meeting, also to be held this month, were debated. On the same day, the ASEAN Foreign Ministers interface with representative of the ASEAN Intergovernmental Commission on Human Rights, or AISHER, was launched and chaired by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Lao PDR, Salim Sai Komasit. Senior official from the Lao Ministry of Foreign Affairs reported on the progress of AISHER's activities over the past year, including those relating to the government, workshops on human rights in relation to climate change, the rights of persons with disabilities and human trafficking king. And also adopted Several issues were discussed between ASEAN agencies and sectorial bodies, dialogue partners and other external partners, including civil society organizations, and the dissemination and implementation of the ASEAN Human Rights Declaration, among others. The ministers commended the good progress made in the work of the AISHER over the past year, which has contributed to the promotion and protection of human rights in ASEAN, including the promotion of human rights awareness, thereby contributing to the ASEAN community building process. The ministers encouraged the Commission to continue their efforts in effectively implementing priority programs and activities for 2017 in line with their existing mandate and functions. Mr. Salim Sai also chaired the meeting of the Southeast Asia Nuclear Weapon Free Zones or SEANWFZ Commission with the participation of ASEAN Foreign Ministers, the Secretary General of ASEAN and delegates. The meeting reviewed the progress in implementing the plan of action to strengthen the implementation of the SEAN WFZ Treaty 2013-2017 and emphasized the importance of effective implementation of the plan of action, including through accession to and ratification of international agreements relating to disarmament and non-proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. Officials agreed to task the SEANWFZ XCOM and its working group to continue discussions in line with the ongoing efforts of state parties to the SEANWFZ treaty and nuclear weapon states to resolve all outstanding issues pertaining to the signing and ratifying of the protocol to the SEANWFZ treaty. The ASEAN Senior Officials Meeting Plus 3 was also held. These meetings were held on the sidelines of the 49th ASEAN Foreign Ministers Meeting, which took place on Sunday, July 24. And, um, so, uh, <laughs> และกองประชุมปิ่นอ้อมในวันที่ 21-26 ของเราโคด 2016